What are you doing? He never gets very far. <laughs> Happy New Year, everyone! <laughs> Norman's Norman's already had too much. Have you? Did you have too much to drink already? Yeah. It's only 10 a.m. <laughs> Um, okay, so I am doing a really fun little, um, as usual, hurting my feet, chewing my laces. Back, back, Norman back. Good boy. He's, he's picked up a few small skills. Nope, back, back, back. Back, 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 back. No, back. He's, you know, at this age, they really just kind of mirror what you do. So if you come at them with like, oh, they're gonna, they're gonna interpret that as play. Norman, back, back. No, back, back. No, no. One like he drives me crazy. At the same time, he makes me laugh. Um, okay, so I'm doing this really fun um, comparison today. Um, New Year's Eve uh, 2020. I just had to think about what the year was. As if, right? Um, as if this hasn't been the best and worst year in recent memory. Um, okay, so I am doing... Oh my God, I just... Go in your house. Nope, go in your house. Here, Norman, 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 go in your house. In your house. House. Sit. That's a backwards sit, but okay, I'll take it. Nope, go in your house. House. Cheeky. House. No. Nope. House. All right, go in your place. Das good boy. Good boy. Oh my God, he just is like atomic, <coughs> atomic powered. It's also like pouring rain today, so he hasn't had a walk yet. It was, we were super busy yesterday and he was in the crate for like six hours. Um, so um, we, did get a, we did get a small walk in yesterday. No, we did. We walked a little bit yesterday, but it started raining on us, so we had to come back. Remember? Do you remember that? Do you remember? Rue, Norm something else caught his attention. No! My jacket sleeve. Uh -huh. That's his way of telling me that he wants to do more W-A-L-K-I-E-S. No, go in your house. I know, I, I can't help it if it's raining. Sit. Oh, that's good boy. Good boy. Yes. Very good boy. Very good boy. Oh, Lord. Okay. I really... I think this may be... I think this may be too... I think this may end up being two videos. <laughs> 2020, y'all. Yeah. Okay. So on this eye, this is my comparison. Good mascara. These two are the best mascaras that I have, I think, ever tried. And I've tried most of the designers. I've tried the It Cosmetics, <laughs> excuse me, the It Cosmetics mascaras, which are good. I think it goes down to the brush and what you prefer in a brush. I always thought that I was a, um, let's see if I have it still in here. I don't think I do. I always thought that I was a kind of a spoolie brush person, like, like that. Mm -hmm. Like that kind of mascara wand brush. I don't think I am, actually. I think I am a brush person that is um, 
One sec. I'll be right back. Biting at my That's feet. That's not it. I've tried Dior, It Cosmetics. I have tried Tarte. I have tried, um, of course, L'Oreal, which I've used forever. Mostly, I've stuck with the with the L'Oreal mascara, the Infallible mascara, and worn that forever. At 54, I can say forever. I have worn it since I was a kid. For a while, I used you know the Maybelline mascara you get at the drugstore I think it's like pink or turquoise container or something um, that you find in the supermarket as well um, I tried that for a while but would always come back to L'Oreal and L'Oreal infallible specifically um, there was also one that I wore for a long time that was L'Oreal that was a black bottle with a gold top that also you could get at the drugstore. I mean, I just never had a problem with it until I started having problems with my lashes falling out and breaking. And that's not the mascara's fault. That's because I started wearing more lashes. Now that I've kind of rebooted my lash situation, um, my whole lash world has been rocked, rocked, rocked. And I am loving this new kind of brush. I'm also loving, still loving the L'Oreal um, Maker, but I've done another um, blog post on this By Terry Lash Export, Expert Twist Brush, specifically because I loved it so much, and I really wasn't expecting to love it so much. I was kind of expecting that it was gonna be an expensive mascara that I would be left feeling like, hmm, why is it so much? But you totally get what you pay for. It's definitely more than this. Um, and I'll put the prices on the screen or below, I'll put them somewhere. Um, but it is, so I decided a few weeks ago that I wanted to do a kind of shootout between the L'Oreal, this new one that I've been testing in this weird bottle, what's it called? Unlimited Mascara and the By Terry Lash Expert because the brushes were similar. That I was looking, Norman, Norman. Oh my God. He likes to try and get behind this settee that I have next to me here. <laughs> and then he's like, all into the the vent and the vent hood and all that stuff that's down there. Um, I got to thinking about the brushes were really similar and the formulas felt really similar and I was wearing them on different days. And then I had, Herman, stop it. No, 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 no. Then I had um, a couple of questions from viewers I love it. I loved to get questions from viewers, too, specifically, um, that it was, um, what were the questions? Oh, what was the formula like? Was it the By Terry? The questions were the By You know what? I'm gonna start over. Okay, sorry about that. You lose your focus when you have children and dogs hanging on you. You just do. <laughs> I challenge any of you to say you can be focused with children and dogs hanging on you. Um, okay, so I had some questions from a couple of viewers. They were very good questions, and specifically they were about the By Terry. Um, the By well, so you step on your feet. That's what happens. Um, the By Terry formula to see if it was smudgy or flaky or would it wear all day, etc. Okay, so I decided on New Year's Eve that I would do a kind of a mascara shootout considering all the things I just said about the brushes and all the different brands that I've tried. I have these two here. They're very similar in formula. I've worn them both separately on both eyes. So, you know, for probably a couple weeks, I've worn this on both eyes and I've worn the By Terry on both eyes. But today, I decided to test the smudging and flaking and wear of each mascara, 
put one on one eye and one on the other and see what the results were at the end of the day. Okay, so this eye has, let's see, turn a little bit light. Okay, so this eye has the by Terry Lash Expert, and this eye has the uh, L'Oreal Un, Unflammable, Unlimited. Unlimited, and they look, they're both super, both super similar. They're both beautiful. This is a single coat. So I curled my lashes and just did a single coat, enough to coat each lash. <coughs> Excuse me. And we are gonna wear this all day today and as late as I can stay up, and then I'm going to take some pictures or maybe even shoot some video before I wash my face later tonight. I put this on this morning about 9 a.m. and I think it's looking pretty good. I like it. So far, I'm liking this, the, I'm, liking, I'm liking the By Terry one more, but this one is good too. They both look good, right? It's really, I don't, I don't know if I'll be able to make a choice. But to the viewers who asked about flaking and smudging and wearing, would they, you know, would this formula wear very well? I said yes, because my experience was there was no flaking, there was no smudging. The formula for the By Terry, which was the questions were about the By Terry formula, um, were that I liked it and it was great. I couldn't find anything wrong with it. Um, but we're gonna compare it today and test it. So, okay, so I'll see you later. Okay, so we are at the uh, five, five hour check-in. So I put the mascara on each eye. So remember I did the By Terry on this eye and the L'Oreal on this eye. And I think, they're both doing pretty well, although I can see some, I'm sorry, look at my nails. Wow. That is from vitamin C. Ah, it's taking forever to wear off. Um, don't put vitamin C, don't rub that into your nails. <laughs> um, so we can see that there is uh, some, smudging around the lower lash line. Um, I really was looking hard. There's also some fallout, just the slightest one or two little specks on the L'Oreal side. And on the By Terry side, I don't think there's any. I don't think there's anything. I did a pretty close look before I came on to, to check in with you. Um, and I was kind of surprised, actually, because I've never noticed any smudging with any L'Oreal mascara, but um, that is, that's what we're seeing at the almost five hour mark. Okay, so just to check in, I'll see you later. It's still New Year's Eve. <laughs> okay, it is five o'clock. This is the five o'clock check-in. I um, don't have any more daylight to show you, so I'm gonna try and get near this, ooh, that's bad light. Never have up light. Let me see if there's good light in here. Eh, that's better than the other. Um, still kind of hard to see. Let me go here. Eh, I'll look up. Okay, so here is, remember, this side is the By Terry and this side is the um, L'Oreal. So, I mean, I'm looking really, really hard to see if there's smudging or flaking or lots of wear on this product. So, in a normal circumstances, I, I wouldn't see this. There is a little bit of smudging under the L'Oreal eye, like the tiniest, tiniest little bit. The tiniest. There's like one fleck over here the tiniest. I would never notice again on a regular day, but since I'm doing this evaluation wear test, we are at eight hours here, but I'm gonna keep going, so I'll check in at like 
seven or eight. I'll probably be half asleep by then. I'll check in as long as I can stay awake. Of course, I've got to wash my face and put all my old lady creams on. But this is looking pretty good. I mean, I wanted to make sure that I did the right thing in this review so that you all could see um, that there really isn't any fallout, any flaking, any smudging. This, this by Terry Eye, I feel like is the best one, but this L'Oreal Eye is, this is pretty good. And I don't have any eyeliner or, um, all I have is just a little bit of the by Terry bronzer in the crease just to give me some life um, and some brow pencil. But, um, no, I think it's pretty. I think both are pretty good. So that's your five o'clock check in, eight hours in on By Terry and L'Oreal. Um, L'Oreal Impossible, I think, is what this one is. This one is the Lash Expert By Terry. Okay, I'll see you in a couple hours. Okay, so it's New Year's Eve Eve, and y'all, I cannot, I cannot stay up any longer. Norman, he gets crazy with his Kong toy. <laughs> um, okay, so remember, by Terry, Lash Expert, and the L'Oreal Impossible, I think it is. So again, this little bit of smudging here, I really, really think I'm making, <laughs> I mean, it's, I'm reaching. Like, that's not really smudging. It's definitely smudging, but it's, it's not really. Um, and there is no smudging, there is no um, flaking, and it's worn, I think it's worn pretty well. I think it's worn, I think they both have worn pretty well. I think probably the L'Oreal I might be a little more powerful in terms of the amount of mascara that is on the eye. I don't know, what do you think? Um, this, the L'Oreal brush is bigger and it has, oh my God, look, in the shower, always up to something. The L'Oreal brush is kind of bigger, fatter, picks up more of the formula. So I'm thinking that's what that is about. This brush has two settings. It has kind of a, a bigger, almost a spoolie setting um, and it has a very straight, very, very minimal formula setting. And I only used the straight setting because I wanted the two um, wands to be as similar as possible. So, so that is, that is <laughs> the, um, the day where, so we're at, let's see, we're at almost 11 hours now. So on New Year's Eve, I will be going to bed by 9.30, I think. <laughs> In case you're wondering, we are staying home because we are, well, I am from a medical family and when the CDC recommends something, that's what we do. That's what I do. And then that's what I tell my husband to do. <laughs> so that's what we do. So, um, so yeah, so that's it. Still pretty, still looks good. This is also by Terry um, bronzer that I have, just very lightly around the face. I am just using, um, in case you're interested, the um, Elta MD UV Elements Broad Spectrum SPF 44 Tinted um, Sunscreen on my face. Um, and what do I have? Kosa's um, under eye along with Bare Minerals under eye. And that's pretty much it. I don't have any other makeup on my face, as I said before. Oh, I have um, brow pencil. So. so that is my New Year's Eve day look. Um, I think this mascara test was really good. I really appreciate the person who, um, who suggested it. Thank you so much for weighing in. Please put your suggestions in my comments because I, 
I think when I do a video, I think what would I want to know about something um, that I don't know about that someone else might have already done or might know about. Um, and so that's why I do my, um, that's how I kind of produce and structure my videos. Um, but if I don't think about it, then uh, it doesn't get done. So send me your, your suggestions. I'm 54. Um, I have um, normal, normal to normal to normal, normal skin. Um, I have like mostly my issue is uh, sun damage from life guarding. Um, so if you have similar issues, I mean, just let me know. Just let me know. Okay. So that is the mascara shootout, the New Year's Eve mascara shootout. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you think. Again, my name is Lynn. Um, if you haven't taken the time to subscribe, if you could do, that would be so great. I love talking to y'all. I love making these videos and the more the merrier. I'd love to have a community. Um, ring the bell and ring the all. Um, tap, uh, click on the all so you get all the notifications. I post something at least once a week, sometimes three times a week, depending on what is inspiring me that week. Um, so please subscribe. I would love to have build a community of all kinds of people, men and women, dog lovers, horse lovers, makeup lovers, hair lovers. You know, I'm all about the hair as well. 54, pretty good with the hair, I think. That's, that's that, Halo Beauty. Um, so yeah, so please subscribe and uh, thanks so much for watching. Happy New Year, you all. Happy, happy, mwah, mwah, mwah. happy New Year. May 2021 be, be, May 2021 be productive and boring and quiet and purposeful. That's my wish. I wish the best.